In our last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9, we had to go to war and try to three star. And well, you'll have to watch the video to figure out how that one went. But today, we're in a new clan, Echo Wars. Something big is happening. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and something big is happening in Clash of Clans today over here in Echo Wars and to prepare I'm going to give you guys one of the biggest tips to being a better clasher inside of Clash of Clans and that tip is to friendly challenge like crazy. We're going to be doing a little bit of that today and more practice and telling you about the event that is to come, which is really always exciting. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, Daily Clash of Clans videos, all the stuff that I tell you all the time. I hope that you guys listening straight out of Pachinki. Do you even know where that is? Let me know down below if you do. But guys, friendly challenges are your best friend in the game. You can train up troops, you can train up any armies that you want for free, and you can practice your attacks. And that's what I'm gonna be doing here today. So I'm gonna go over to my clan. I'm going to scout this base. This is my teammate's base. I'm going to hit attack, and I just happen to have my army that I'm gonna be using in war ready. And I can edit the army as well if I want to, which is really cool. It gives me the ability to take things away, put things in, all that great stuff. But right now, we're going to keep this same army, but something that we need to do before we attack the base is scout the base. When you scout a base, you're basically looking to see how you are going to attack this base. Now, what I'm noticing now is we have a king and a queen right over here by the town hall. We also have this clan castle, which if I get some witches going around here, and if I get some witches going around here, I can storm my kill squad right into about here, and, uh, well, easy peasy three star, right? I don't know. Not sure if there's anything in the clan castle. It looks like there is a clan castle to deal with. We have the poison spell. We have a skeleton spell to deal with some of the heroes. I'll probably use the skelly spell on the king on the back end if we have to. I'm not really sure, but we're going to try it out. The plan is set. I didn't take very long. We kind of just said, okay, this is where we're hitting the base. We're going in this way and it's going to go well. Now let's actually hope that it goes well because we're going in on the friendly challenge attack. You should be doing this with your clan mates all the time, before wars, after wars, during wars, practice. And if you have a base that you see in war that you have to attack, you have 24 hours, guys. You can't build it and then attack it because that would be cheating and Clash of Clans doesn't allow that. But maybe some of your teammates have a similar base design. Maybe some of your teammates have the same base design. If they do, practice against that base. Familiarize yourself with the base that you'll be attacking and then go on the attack like we're about to do right now. Wish me luck. It's only a friendly challenge, of course, so I'm not so worried if we fail, we fail. But it's nice to practice. Three witches two healers. We're going to put a wizard right here because there is that Tesla. Didn't anticipate that. Good base there. One. Uh, there's some over here as well. Two. Yes, there is. We're going to go with a wizard right there, helping to keep all of this alive. So we're letting the funnel happen. The witches are doing their job, which is always very important. Witches, wizards. We're going to go with a golem there and there. We're going to go with two wizards here. We don't even... Eh, we'll, we'll save that wizard for the back end. We'll get the witch going. King and queen. I'm going to get one wizard going over here. And we're going to set this jump right about there. We're going to rage this in and the clan castle troops. They're going in. They're going to be taking out this queen. Where is the CC going to go? It, does, it doesn't even know itself yet where it's going to go. We're going to get another jump and a heal spell. Hopefully my troops get inside of that heal. It looks like we did get some things going around. Okay. Uh, the enemy king is down already. We got the enemy king down, which is just great. We can use our skeleton spell, if we get to that point, on this expo. Let's use it right there on the bow. Try and take it down. Now, it is going to be targeted by the wizard tower and stuff, and it's not going to get it down. That didn't work. Okay, so that doesn't work. We needed to get rid of all this other stuff in the bottom and have that all, you know, gone. But it was still there. But I'm looking here, and I'm noticing I still have hero abilities. We still have witches going around the top of the base. The witches on the bottom died. But the king and queen, oh man, they're getting close to death themselves. King is going to pop. Queen is going to pop. Can we get through some wall here? Oh my gosh. I, okay, the queen, she's going around. She's going to assist. She's going to probably get some healer support herself. And we do have that golem getting healed. Why? Why does the game insist on healing the golem? It never works. Come on, queen, stay up. No, queen went down. Okay, good base here, Juan. Good base here, Juan. 
Friendly challenges are good for a reason. Friendly challenges allow for you to practice so that you can make up, you know, make the mistakes in practice rather than making them in war like you may have seen happen in my last episode of Mastering Town Hall 9. Episode 21, because this is episode 22. And, well, it looks like our tanks are being healed, which doesn't make any sense. So, because this is a friendly challenge, it doesn't matter. What we can do is end the battle. We could leave. It cost us nothing. We got 72% two-star. Not good enough. We need to do better than that in war. Now, here's the cool thing. The army, trained up, ready to go. The spells, trained up, ready to go. The clan castle troops, still intact, which means we can go in on another attack. But, guys, first of all, we got a gem box to grab, so we're going to remove the gem box. It's going to take 30 seconds. And while we're waiting for that, let's take a look at some of your comments for some previous videos. Gem boxes don't get old, never ever, on any account, no matter if it's maxed or not maxed. I love getting the gem boxes. When's the last time you grabbed the gem box inside of Clash of Clans? The question is, does Supercell love me more than you, you more than me, or do they love us all equally? That's the question. Now, we probably, maybe, we do have another one to take a look at here. Another base, which is great. Another friendly challenge. Massive value. Now, a cool thing that you may not have known is when you're scouting bases, you could click on the defenses to see their range. So you can see that this archer tower will reach you all the way there. The air defense will reach you all the way there. I can take that wizard tower out. I mean, I could take this town hall out if there's no Tesla hiding right there. And I'm going to try to do that. We have the... Um, clan castle which could be a fairly easy lore we could jump into the base right here get ourselves and jump right there as well get right into the core that's going to be the plan let's get our troops we're ready to go because it's a friendly challenge everything is good and gravy gravy you like that yeah i like that too all right so let's see if the whole wizard trick works is there anything there no we are going to be able to grab the easy one star right here just grabbing the town hall now the question is where's everything else that is the question. So let's go ahead with one, two, three, and one, two. Oh, giant bomb. Uh-oh, hopefully we didn't lose a witch there. No, it looks like, it looks like we're okay. That was, uh, that was tricky there, buddy. Tricky move, but we're gonna still, we're gonna still defeat you here. Nothing in that corner. We got the town hall. They're setting the funnel. That works out nice. We're gonna give it a little bit of time so these skeletons can set their funnel. We'll go with a golem and a golem and a witch behind, a wizard and a wizard. There we go. Funnels are being set. Then we'll get the king and the queen. They'll rock in behind the golem. We do have a lava hound, which is not very scary. And we're gonna set the, oh, actually we got a king that's encroaching on us right now. Let's see if we can take him down. We're gonna go with the rage spell right there. We're gonna go with a jump spell right here get everyone into the base and while they all jump in we're gonna heal everything as it gets into the base I shouldn't actually be looking at you guys when we're doing this we're gonna drop that on the Queen we're gonna drop another jump spell right here getting all those troops through the base only one back-end wizard I don't know if that's good or not we don't have much cleanup the witches they've all died the healers of oh my god all my healers are dead the witches are dead uh, yeah the attack Maybe coming to an early end, my queen is also being targeted pretty heavily by that bow. We're going to go there. Okay. All right. You win this one, kneecap. This FC goes in favor of you, but we're going to go and get my wizard over here. The queen should take out the archer tower. Wizard will get percentage. Again, percentage game is important. In those attacks, in war, when you don't pull in three stars, you want to make sure that you get as much percentage as you can so that if it comes down to a percentage in the war for the victory... You knew you did everything that you could, and my wizard right here is doing everything that he can to gain more percentage as we go. Again, I'm going to rush this through because it's a friendly challenge. We don't need to sit here and watch the end, but there goes my wizard. So, didn't work out as well. Friendly challenges are the way to improve in Clash of Clans. If you FC, you will get better. But also, we need to get this tree out of here, and we also need to collect our loot cart because you know we have wall to do today. 140 pieces left. No, we gotta go grab that wall progress base design that many of you have been asking for right here. Everything is maxed but the wall heroes and research, and if you notice right now, guys, 
The research has three days left until we get level two Lava Hounds, and that is exciting. But we have to go in on a raid that's actually gonna gain us some loot too, right? So we're not just gonna FC all day today. We're gonna actually go in on a real attack, try and find some loot. Echo Wars is gonna take on one of the other Echo clans, and uh, well, we're gonna have a family war, and it's gonna be the Scrappy family versus the Scrappy family, all in the Echo clans. It's going to be exciting. Almost exciting is as much loot we have in here. So I will be documenting all of that within videos for you guys. Make sure you stick around, come back, and make sure that you're here to see all of that happen. I'm going to go in against the king here only because the clan castle's right there. So we're going to try and get that CC lore. We're going to go with our witches like we typically do. We're going to go with the golem. We're going to go with the... I'm going to go like this. A couple of those. Another golem. King... Queen, and we could probably get our CC going in right away. We're going to jump right here. Looks like the clan castle is empty. The Valkyries are going to shred that king. We'll get another jump going right there. Let's see if they actually path through properly. We're going to go with the heal right there. And uh, we'll... Okay, looks like a bunch of them are going through that heal spell, which is nice to see. Good job. Funnel worked out fairly well, but will they get themselves into the core of the base? The golem are hopping in first. That is perfect. Those golem are going to tank for whatever goes into the core. And right now, it looks like the queen is going into the core. We're going to go with a poison spell and a skeleton spell right here. Hopefully, take down that enemy queen. She is slowed. The skeleton spell could take her down. Hopefully, oh, she jumped over the wall. Just great. Just great. Now the skeleton spell won't do anything for her. She's just sitting there picking away at them. Gotta pop the queen because it looks like a Tesla is attacking her. And we're gonna go with the wizards here to hopefully shoot over that wall at the queen. But it looks like the queen attacking skeletons gets taken down by the witches. If you mess with witches, you know you get stitches. I know you've heard it before. I, it goes something like that, right? Yeah, looks like we gotta have a three star on this one, guys. The king leading the way. Golo, actually the king. He's weakening up. We're going to have to use his ability. How about right now? We're going to pop it through. We're going to take down that wizard tower, which, oh, it just gets that Tesla right by the top bomb tower. That witch was clutch and coming in on the core back end of the base. Bomb tower will not take down the king. Maybe that giant bomb will, though. Rip. Oh, no, we're good. 100% is about to come in. What is it? Oh, it's a builder's hut in the top of the base, but the skellies will take it down as we will tear out your heart and defeat your base. In Clash of Clans. Yes! Big loot too, which is great for wall. Star bonus for days. Man, today was a long day. It's actually, what time? 4.30 p.m. right now when I'm finally recording a video. Typically, I record these in the morning. But today, it's in the afternoon. The stuff was going on in the house and I couldn't get into the office. Life happens sometimes, guys. Life happens. Always make sure that you request more troops and train up your army. Ah, you don't want to go in and not have an army. So make sure that whenever you log in, you have an army ready to go. So train them up, get ready to go. And that's the way that you got to go with the flow. And here we go. Let's go in treasury. We're going to collect all of our loot, a million loot in there of each. Remember, we do have the Lava Hound on upgrade for three more days. So that's three more days of farming. Although this is not my main account. I don't sit and farm this one all day long. But again, we have some wall to do. So what I'm going to actually do, I don't like how this bottom section here is all crooked, right? So let's go and grab, uh, let's take, let's get rid of these silly looking pieces. Let's get that one. Let's get this one. And let's get this one. Let's see if we can make these three max level in today's episode. We're at 140. We're going down. We're subtracting. We are minusing because we are adding to max wall. Does that equation work for you? I'm telling you. Mathematics, it's important. There we go, with gold. Here we go, with gold. Here we go, with gold. Oh, with more gold, with more gold. We are going to max this wall. We're getting close, but bing, cha-ching, la-ding. And, uh, well, there we go. Max level walls, three more pieces. And, uh, you know, should we do, should we do one more? Should we do, oh, that guy wants to go, but, you know, wait your turn, wait your turn. We're gonna take this piece right here. You wait your turn! <laughs> and we are going to upgrade it a few times, get it to max level. Uh, yeah, it's about max level right there. So we can actually do, uh, I don't know. This one wants to go too. Oh, I can't. 
I don't have enough gold. Well, okay, get back in line, sir. We will have to wait for you for another day. Four pieces are being added officially to the completed row, which means we need to update some numbers. It is official. 136 wall pieces left. That's it. And that was my private message to you. Don't ever tell me that I've never sent you a private message. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video, give me a hashtag made it down in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna tell you a few things that you may not know. First of all, I have a membership program on my YouTube channel that I want you guys to come through at. Now, it is a way to further support my channel. If you can't or don't want to, that's totally fine. But if you do want to, I want you to know about it. I have membership tiers from $1.99, which is my silver tier, all the way up to my palladium tier, which is $25 per month. It's a YouTube membership. You get emotes, you get a badge, you get all these custom things. The more you get, the more you go, and it works like that. My editor is great. Thank you, G, because he's gonna pop it all up on the screen. You'll see everything that I'm talking about. And there's a link down below in the description of this video to give you the guidance to get there if that's something you want to do if you don't totally cool i love you all the same anyway and remember we're live streaming and uh actually i think we're gonna be live streaming at night now will you guys come through in the evening around 10 p.m eastern we'll be live streaming and hanging out with you that's where those emails can be used plus very soon on youtube i think we'll be able to use them in comments maybe That'll be cool. Make sure you come on through as a member if you're able or if you want to. And also, guys, you could always just say what's up and use code ECHO whenever you buy gems in-game. Want to see how to do it? Super easy. You go to the gears, click. You go to the more settings, click. You go down below and you enter code ECHO. I'm going to do it right here because it looks like I'm not supporting myself. E-C-H-O done and then if you want to check it out when you go to the shop you have that little c up there you can click it and it says oh wow you're supporting echo tell you what guys it goes a long way with a small small amount of whatever you spend coming to me it doesn't cost you anymore it costs supercell and the ios and android app stores so yeah make them pay not you have a great day guys make sure you check out this video before you go remember be good